Hi, Susan Mask here with the second of our four part video series on sweeping. This is dedicated to scanning. The scanning part of the process is simply where we're going to look at textures, text, and we're going to be looking for um, samples of all of their outgoing texts that give us any indication of whether or not there are issues. And we're going to do that even more so by looking at extra texts for those who are on the flags and feedback sheet. And we're going to be taking notes along the way. As you've learned in training, there's three categories for feedback. And if you find that someone's on the flags and feedback sheet for one of these categories and you find further incidences of that same type, it's going to elevate them to the higher category. You're going to look at these approximate numbers of conversations based on what is going on in the flags and feedback sheet. Say your texter's not on there. You can spot check them or you can look until you are sure that you may have found an issue. If they're already on feedback, that bumps up to maybe 10 to 20 conversations, 20 to 50 if they're on watch. And if they're on stop, you're going to reassign to the AA mods folder. How do I look quickly? First of all, I'm looking at length. If I see that a texter is putting out a lot of long text like this, one of three things is almost certainly going on. They're oversharing personal information, they're combative with the voter, or they're sharing unapproved links, like in this case. I look at opt-outs and opt-out requests. If someone misses opt-out requests, that's a legal issue and that's a lot more serious. If they are unnecessarily opting people out, we're losing campaign data. So I'm looking for either opt-out trigger words and those aren't always as short as stop. They can be buried in a paragraph where a voter is talking about their beliefs and they say in their, you know, by the way, quit sending me texts or something like that. Um, the other side of the coin is that there are mistaken triggers for opt-out words. Commonly leave me alone gets mistaken. That is not an opt-out. In this case here, no Antifa supporters here. Sorry, go loot another phone. That's not an opt-out. Those are refuses. And the other thing I see a lot is where strong R's or MAGA statements are being opted out and the person hasn't requested it. So they should not have been opted out. Last, I'm looking at the survey as I go. And I wanna see if there is, again, that issue of missing something that should be refused. If hostile is being marked too often, which is tempting when you're being abused by a voter, but unless that raises to the definition of hostile um, and potentially is threatening to you, then it's not hostile. When it comes to support, either they're missing it completely or they're mistaking strong support for what's actually a statement that indicates that they're leaning that way, um, or they're marking voters as an R when the voter says that they don't support Biden, but they're not saying who they do support. So that's not a strong R at that point that would be left blank if they haven't said. And the other thing is they miss the bottom sections altogether. So a couple of things as I review here, we're looking at the flags and feedback spreadsheet to decide how many texts to look at. You wanna look at the length of the text, check for opt-outs and requests and look at the survey. And very important, allow yourself to scan. You're going to have to go quickly. That's it for video two. I'll be back with sync in part 